God has taken care of me. He's provided what we've needed when we've needed it. I've just had to allow him to do it. I don't know how somebody could make it through this without having that faith. December 11th, um, I left work sick. By the 14th, um, I sent my husband to get a saturation reader and I was down to 65. So he took me into the emergency room and they admitted me. COVID and then COVID pneumonia. I was in the hospital um, just a few days short of two months. I had an appointment with the pulmonologist and we looked at the x-rays and he told me the condition and suggested I start right away on the lung transplant process. Very sobering, you know, and I cried all the way home. I mean, I've always been healthy. I've never smoked a day in my life. Very active, you know, to go from, it was like dying. I, you know, my life completely ended and had to start a new one. My thought going into this whole process is, if I can breathe, I can do anything. I just wanna breathe. It was a Thursday night, just sitting watching TV and got the phone call, didn't recognize the number because it was late and it was my coordinator. So I answered and she said, you know, she says, Kay, this is Brenda. And I'm like, hi, Brenda, how you doing? You know, just, and I knew. And she says, we have some lungs for you. And I'm like, and I was, I was surprised how calm I was. You know, I was like, okay, this is cool. I hollered for my husband. He was in his office so he could come out, put a call on speaker. We had 30 minutes to get on the road. You know, make sure you got your bags, you got your binder, you got your Gatorade. It rained all the way. Held hands. It was real. It was real. It was gonna be good. We were gonna breathe. We're going to have a normal life. This is it. Once I left ICU and went to 7 North, uh, physical therapy would come in and we would do some exercises. And then I was walking the halls three times a day. 13 days from surgery, I was, I was out of the hospital. One, two, three, six. One, two, three. Colt has been um, very beneficial. You know, I love to exercise. The stronger you are, which they kept saying, the stronger you are going in, the easier recovery is going to be. And it has been. I know that has a lot to do with how well I've done. The amount of support I've had from not only the medical team and the, the Colt team, but family members neighbors you know that's that's surreal too to find out how many people how many lives your life has touched as simple as it sounds you know playing with my grandkids i haven't been able to for a year i've been sitting on the deck watching my husband play with the kids i just want to play with my grandkids